hello everyone welcome back again to my channel if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and share my video in this video i'm going to be giving you showing you a formula on how to draft your kaftan uh this week i'm going to be talking about uh kaftan right so i'm going to show you the formula on how to draft it and please keep on watching and please if you are new to my channel please don't fail to subscribe and share to my video so for now please keep on watching so before i start my drafting these are the things that you will need to draft out your kaftan your vertical measurement which is also called your straight body measurement what you need to know is you need to get your shoulder to shoulder, your arm hole, shoulder to bust point, shoulder to waist, shoulder to hip, and shoulder to the ankle or to the length of the kaftan and the length of the sleeve. And your, you need also need to have your neck width, your front neck depth, your back neck depth, and you also need to have your, uh, for your round body measurement, what you need your round body measurement is your bust point your waist point and your hip so you need those measure uh, those three or your round body measurement so please keep on watching so now before I start drafting I will tell you one thing you see our lace right for for doing the for using for the kaftan is mostly by 45 by length right and let's say for example you go to a shop and you get a lace like this, eh? The length here from here to here is 45 by length. And we all know that so so um so people are taller than other people. If you are taking if you want a long kaftan, right? What you simply do, if for example your lace is like this, 45 by length, yeah. What you simply do, you turn it like this. You fold up your lace like this, right? You fold it up and turn it like this. So you can see that when you turn your lace like this, let's say this uh, part of paper is your lace, you turn it like this, you now see that the length is now long. You see that? So now, for you to know the length you want to cut at, is you just take your the length of your from your shoulder to your ankle where you want your length of kaftan to be, right? You take it like that. So let's say for example now for this on this my formula i'm going to show you i want the length of my kaftan to to be like this right let me fold it i want the length of my kaftan to be equal yeah like this right so let me cut it out now Because I'm just showing you the formula on how to get uh, no, cut your kaftan. So now you want the length. So I'm not dividing the length. It's not big. It's now two equal length, right? So let's say your length of, a, of, of, your, of your shoulder to ankle. You want it to be longer, right? So now, after getting your length, right? The next thing to do is to now start drafting on your kaftan your fabric paper sorry fabric paper but you know that on our kaftan right let's say this is the front panel and this is the back panel right you know sometimes our kaftan we like to have opening at the back so with that you just simply do this you just take one inch from this side like this yeah, let's say you want to take one inch. This is the back panel, right? This is the back panel. You take one inch. I'm just using this as a formula. Yeah. You take one inch like this. So let me let me draw the one inch and I'll come back. So my friends, as you can see on this line here, this is my back panel and this is my zipper allowance. So, having done this, to draft out of kaftan, 
you place it on like this behind your zipper allowance you see that and you pin it together so as you can see friends i've pinned it together now right so this is now my front panel and this is now my back panel so now the next thing to do here we need to start drafting our drafting on, on our kaftan so we need to start from a line right so you, what you do you take a uh, one inch on your fabric i'm just referring this to my, to my fabric now you take one inch from your fabric from top here like this let's say this is my one inch right i'll mark it out yeah this is my one inch i'll mark it out right so now that i've taken my one inch i'll start drafting so let's say the first thing you first of all you take is your neck to neck uh your neck width measurement right so your neck width measurement yeah i would just put normally it's three inches for adults so you put three inches here and let's say my neck depth is three inches as well put three inches here then i'll just use my hand to draw it like this yeah so after doing that now you now want to get your the length of your sleeve that's the next step so the net of my sleeve is i would say is 15 inches right so yeah remember I'm not, I'm not using any measurement now i'm just giving you a formula so you just measure take your tape measure here like this just say you measure from here from behind the zip allowance here measure at uh, 15 inches so yeah i just put a uh, i just put let me just put at the end 50 let me put at the end end of it yeah so yes see that end of this uh, lace is my length of my sleeve yeah so there at the end of my length of my sleeve i'll come back come down in this spot here by one inch here see that one inch here. see that is one inch so now after coming down at this spot by one inch i will now take my tape and measure uh, my, my ruler i will now connect it like this see so what i'm doing here like this here yeah. i connect it like so that will not be my shoulder stop you see that but after doing that what i have to tell you is this my friends at your shoulder slope here you need you know you need um you need one inch to join your back panel and your front panel together so as you should have slope you just take your tape measure here like so as you should have slope here from the beginning of your neckline this place here you come up by one and one inch here yeah you just follow the shape of the shoulder slope one inch follow again one inch so after following that follow the shape of shoulder slope to the bottom here like this one inch then you take your 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 marker and mark it out this is very important my friend because you need these allowances to hold your front panel together your back panel together so after doing this now the next step is this we we'll now start taking the straight body measurement which is also called your vertical body measurement so let's say for example my sh my shoulder to shoulder is uh my, my shoulder to my boss point let's say is uh is five inches yeah like so not five inches so i'm using a just any any measurement let's say your shoulder to shoulder is two and a half inches for example right my shoulder to my boss point is two and a half inches you see that so so you start to your boss point is two and a half inches. Then from your shoulder to your waist will be here. Let's see your shoulder to your waist is here. If your shoulder to your hip is here as well at this spot. Then from your shoulder to your ankle is here as well. Then you have to leave one 
age for your sewing allowance. So the next thing here is your sewing allowance here. So what you do now, the next thing is I'm going to roll it out with my ink. So I'll just roll it out. So my friends, I've now drawn out my horizontal measure body measurement. You can see the line here. This is my bust point line. This is my uh, waistline. This is my hip line, and this is the length of my caftan. And at the bottom here is my sewing allowance for my caftan to tidy up my bottom of my caftan. And remember, we have not put in our ham o yet. But it's up to you. You can decide not to put in your ham o measurement. Or you just want to put in your ham hole measurement so yeah if you don't put in your ham hole measurement this is what you do you go at this spot here eh? where the length of your sleeve is you put your ham hole measurement if your ham hole is nine and a half or nine inches you put it there like so yeah then you now draw a straight line you see that now draw a straight line to connect it so now we now have your ham hole measurement your your bust point your uh, waist point your hip point and the length of your caftan um, and your sewing allowance for your caftan so now that we have done that the next thing is to start putting on our round body measurement so on my bust point you take your bust point measurement our uh, bust point is normally let's say for example for example if your bust point is 10 inches you divide it by four if it's uh i don't know how many it is if it's by four then the, the total amount you have don't have any don't have any allowance to it yet no the total amount you have is for example now let me make up my calculator so my friends i decided to leave my calculator and continue with it so Let's say your boss points around your round body, your boss point measurement after divided by four, don't have any allowance to it. You put it here like so. This is your boss point measurement. And on your boss point measurement, also put it on your ham hole measurement if you have a big boss. You remember your ham hole measurement at this place, at this line, you can, you can also call it your ham hole measurement or your chest line measurement. So, if you have a big boss, I would suggest that you had your you put your boss measurement on your chest measurement. But if your boss is small, you can put your chest measurement on on your chest measurement. You don't need to put your boss boss point measurement on your chest measurement. So for now, because my boss is big, so I'm using my form my, my my body on this. So my boss my boss point is uh, my boss point is big. So my boss point, my round boss point measurement, I'll put it on my on my chest line also call your ham hole and here like this as well so now you go to your waist your waist measurement you put it here as well like so as your run waist measurement don't have any allowance to it here too then you go to your hip measurement you put what you have there as well so now you go to the bottom of your length of your caftan measurements yeah what you do here is this you run body measurement which you have on your hip line here eh you put it on your on your ankle line or your length of your caftan line here hmm? what you have on your hip you put it on your ankle uh, line and on your allowance line as well then after doing that you now start putting your allowances, right? Depend on how you want your caftan to be. If you want your caftan to be shapey, then what you just do, you just add one inch to it. One inch from there, there, there. One inch, one inch, one inch. You want it to be shaped in, to the to the bottom. But if you want, you want your caftan to be free, right? So this is what you do. At my chest line here, I'm going to add one inch. Yeah? Then on your boss point line here, you're going to add two inches in your boss point line. Then on your waistline, you also had two inches to it. Then on your hip line, you had three inches to it. And if you want your caftan to be free. Then on your length of your caftan, that's the bottom bit, you had five inches to it. Yeah? Five inches. That's what you're going to add. So, 
now that we have done that the next step is if you want to if you want you just carry your pin you just draw it like this sorry draw it like this yeah see the way i draw it now so you have drawn out your body measurement from your fabric so after doing that you now had uh, it's depend on you you now had one one inch for sewing allowance right you had one inch of sewing allowance one inch here one inch here you follow the body shape of the gafta one inch here one inch here one inch here then you now connect it like so So your sewing allowance on the tip. So now you have drafted your body shape from your kafta. The next thing is to now work on your back panel. Remember your back panel, your front panel is together. So what I'm going to do here is this. So before I proceed to my back panel, my back my my back panel I need to I need to uh put in my back panel depth measurement so my back panel depth measurement remember my front was three inches for the neck width and for the neck depth so for the neck for the back panel i'm going to put in uh one and a half inches for the neck depth but the neck weight will make the same three inches so for the neck depth here for the back panel it will be three inches right so i'll go in like this That is um, one and a half inches for the back panel. So what I'm going to do here, not to get myself confused, I'll first of all trim at my back panel neckline. I'll trim it out like so. Yeah. Then I'll go to my uh, front. Oh. So now. I will now cut at the front panel, the front panel neckline. This is very important, so you won't get yourself confused. So now that I've cut out my front and my back panel neckline, so what I'm going to do now is, remember this is my zipper allowance, right? So what I would suggest you to do is First of all, if it's on your fabric, go and work on your back panel first. For example, this is my back panel. If, if it's your fabric, I would suggest that you first of all, not to get yourself confused as a beginner, you take your back panel, right? Work on it. Take out your zipper allowance or what you do, you first of all, stitch this. Take it to the sewing machine and stitch off sew this off your your back panel when you when you sell uh, when you uh, sew it it will for me it will not become like your front panel because this your two and a half in, two inches I mean so do it two inches or one inches deep allowance will be hiding so now because it's a fatter paper i'm going to fold it in i'm going to try and hide it like this you see where it is i'm going to hide it then after hiding it I will now open, take off my pin like this. If I take it off like this, I hold it like this. I open it. See now that my zip allowance is hiding now, right? And I'll put, I'll put my pattern paper like this. See that I'll put it like this. Remember, this is my wrong side of my fabric. I also say this is my wrong side of my pattern paper. So after opening it up like this, making sure that the shoulder to shoulder are all equal. You see that make sure this side and this side is equal. This side and this side is equal. Then after making sure that they are, they are equal, that's very important. You have to make sure they are all equal. You just pin it. Yeah. Pin up your fabric 
ensure that your fabric are all equal because you need it needs to be equal when you you are going to start drafting i mean uh, cutting your fabric out So after doing that, now I will now take this like so. I will now extend it to the other side of it. I will extend it like so, this way and that way. I will go to this side as well. Extend it as well. To this side as well. Do the same thing. I extend it as well. Well, extend it as well. So, remember this is my mid spot, right? This is my mid spot. So after doing that, so at my mid spot here, this mid spot is also very important. Though you have to make sure you have your mid spot because that's we're going to start drafting your. So what I have here, what I have here, yeah. I'll put it here like so. The round body measurement for my bust point, I'll put it here as well. I'll start from measurement from here. If my round body bust measurement is two here, right? If it's two at this spot here, I'll go behind it by midpoint. I'll put two as well here as well. If my round body measurement at my waistline is three here, I'll put here as well. I'll put it three. So let me see how many I get here. So yeah. I have uh, from here okay from here I'll start from my allowances right from my allowance my mid spot is uh, three and a half inches I'll go like this as well put three and a half inches you see that from my allowance to my allowances from my from my midpoint to my allowances here is three inches I'll go like this I put three inches. I'll go to my hip line for my allowances to my midpoint is three, three point three inches. I'll go like this. I put here three point three inches as well. Then I'll go to the bottom part. My allowances to my mid spot here is uh, four point two. I'll go like this, put in four point two. So now after doing that, right? After doing that, three and a half, three and a half. I'll now collect the line here as well. From here, this way, this way, this way, right? So I'll go to my chest line. Let me see what I got for my chest line. Chest line is three and a half inches, 3.2, 3.2 as well. So you can see my shape is out now. Don't forget your, your sewing allowance at this point. Remember, my sewing allowance is one inch. So I'll go here like this. Add one inch here. One inch, one inch. Follow the body shape. One inch. This side as well. One inch. Follow this at the bottom as well. One inch. Yeah? So, having done that, our kafta is done ready. Right? Remember also... You also need to measure your one inch for at your shoulder slope for to you to hold your back panel together, your front and your front panel together. If it's one inch you, you have here, follow the shape of your shoulder slope. Make sure you follow the shape and you had one inch as well. You see that? So after doing that, your kaftan is ready. So what you do, remember, like I said, this is the a wrong side of the fabric so what you have under here is your right side of the fabric and right side of the fabric join it together so what you do here is to not to get yourself confused on your fabric you, you i will advise that you take a especially if the, if the kaftan has the same color right for example now i have a list i'm working on now if the kaftan, so my friends as you can see i've draw out the shape now so if you want to stitch it right so what you do is before you start stitching you first thing you need to do is to stitch tidy up your bottom of your kaftan 
But remember, our zipper allowance is folded, right? So if you want to start to tidy up, you tidy up your front panel first. Yeah, take it up and tidy up your front panel. Tidy up the bottom, right? And then on your back panel, remember zip allowance, you, you, we, so we hide it. What you do here, yeah, you have to lose it. Your zip allowance here, you have to lose it, right? And stitch it. Or you just leave it and stitch it. Tidy up your bottom, right? So after tidy up your bottom of your of your front panel, your back panel. So now the trick is this, right? If you want to find your shape on your fabric, right? I will not suggest that you pin it. You can pin it, right? You can pin it first. But, you know, if it's a lace, the pins will be coming out. So, to save you that stress of having pins pricking your fingers, you just put a, put a different color of thread. Let's say, for example, now, yeah? I have this lace I'm working on, this lace, right? Let's say, for example, this lace is white, right? And I want to sew a kafta on it. So, what you do is, use a different color of thread. If it's the white, use like red, so you can see it. Use, take, take the red, Use it to stitch on the lace. Eh? Follow your shape. Follow the stitch on the zipper. Sorry, on the sewing allowance here. You stitch to your chest line. You stitch, 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 stitch to there. So you go with your needle with a different color thread. Go to that side as well. Stitch as well. To the end there. With your different color uh, thread though. So after doing that, now you now take it to your sewing machine, right? Take it to your sewing machine and sew it with a white color. See, white color. You use to sew it. Because if you don't do that, you will not see the your body shape on your fabric. That's the problem. So that's why it's always better to use a different color of, color of thread. So you can find your body shape while you are stitching on your sewing machine. So on your sewing machine, you can use white color. But on the needle, use different colors so you can see it, your body shape when you take it to your sewing machine. So after stitching that, remember, this is the wrong side of the fabric. The right side of the fabric and the right side of your face shoulder. So you stitch from the wrong side of the fabric. Oh. Then you go to, after doing that, then you now go to your, to your, um, to your neckline. Before you stitch your shoulder stop, yeah, you need to tidy up your neckline first. You tidy up your neckline. I did a video on how to tidy up your neckline. Have a look at that video. You see how to tidy up your neckline. You tidy up your front panel neckline first. After doing that, yeah. After doing that one, you go back to the back panel. If you want your back panel, you want to open your back panel, you want to have like an opening on your back panel. So you go to your back panel, open your zipper allowance and tidy up your back panel first. After doing that, after doing this process, your front and back panel, then you now go to your shoulder slope. Then you now take this different needle of thread as well. Take your one inch zipper allowance here. Yeah. Follow the body shape. Take out your one inch your this thing. Take out one inch on the other side. Then you now take your normal uh, thread. You need to stitch it. Then your kafta is ready. Easy and simple. So my friends, if you like this uh, tutorial, Please don't forget to subscribe and share my video and give my video a thumbs up and share my video and please watch out for more videos. I did a, I did a video on how to sew your kaftan, which I did on a red yellow lace. Please, that one will be coming out soon after this. So have a look at it. And for now, one peace, one love and bye for now. Bye for now.